Hi guys and welcome back. Today we are going to travel back to year 2008 and check out this cute Asus EPC900 netbook. Now you might be wondering what the heck is this EPC netbook? In a nutshell, it's supposed to be affordable small form factor laptop. Although these existed in some shape or form before, it was really Asus who kicked things off in 2007 with the original EPC700 series and soon after the other manufacturers followed. My model, the EPC900, came in a year later and retailed for 399 USD. Specs-wise, it has an Intel Celeron M processor which is clocked at 900MHz, a whole 1GB of DDR2 memory, a 20GB SSD, yes, in 2008, Wi-Fi, a 1.3 megapixel web camera, 8.9 inch LCD screen with resolution of 1024 by 600, Intel GMA900 graphics, and in terms of connectivity, there are three USB 2.0 ports, a VGA out, SD card reader, and ethernet port. Pretty good for 2008, hey? Asus advertised this device towards ease of use, and I've noticed that the box this laptop shipped in has the word easy in many, many places. In fact, why don't we play a game? Can I locate at least one side of the box that does not have the word easy on it? Nope, we cannot. This game was too easy. Okay, terrible jokes aside, let's move on. The EPCs ship with either Windows XP or Linux. My unit is running this custom version of Linux. So let's check out how easy this is to use and what features are available. I've managed to connect this to my home Wi-Fi. Let's see if it even matters. Turning the machine on. Now remember, this is equipped with a SSD. Not too bad for a device from the year 2008, right? Now the home page is divided into various tabs for each category. The internet tab has many useful icons listed. Let's try webmail. Hmm, sure, let's check Gmail. Now this opens Firefox and we are greeted with invalid third prompt. Let's see if we can proceed. Uh, okay. Now? Maybe now? Maybe not. Okay. Right. Hmm. Okay, maybe, maybe, let's... Yeah, maybe not. Okay, let's move on. Right, what we've established is browsing the internet on the EPC is not easy. But let's check out other icons. Web. Okay, this is just opening Firefox again. I think I get the idea. So I can think of those icons as various bookmarks. There we go. We can at least glance at some lovely, beautiful EPCs in black. I don't think this is very useful. Right, let's check out other bits. A world clock. I mean, sure, if you would like to check what time it is around the corner from you. Let's move on to the work tab and in here we get the whole suite of apps represented by the OpenOffice 2.0. Wow, this is really useful. And the learn tab. Here we have science. In here we get a periodic table for all of those scientists amongst you. And at the same time, a cool feature called planetarium. And now I can explore the whole universe thanks to the EPC 900. Let's check out math said no one ever. Fractional tutorial. I see, this might be what Aces meant by easy to learn. Might be useful for your kids, maybe. I will however say, the user interface isn't really friendly. Tax of math command. Now that's a mouthful. What the hell is this? I like this. I can see how kids like this game. It's got nice music and it, 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 it is learning and playing at the same time. I guess. We definitely need to move on and check out the play tab. 
In here we get classics like Solitaire and Sudoku. But let me try Frozen Bubble first. Okay, I can see myself spending a couple of minutes playing this game. What really caught my attention is Penguin Racer. Let's, let's try this one out. Check that tune out. And the graphics. Wow. <laughs> Now we're talking. This is this is me, all over this. Right. In the settings tab, you can adjust the volumes, add or remove some software, run a disk utility, or even get some system information. Now that was very nice, and I'm sure many will enjoy the quirky features of this custom Linux version that Asus put on this EPC. A short moment later, we have the Windows XP installed. It would not be a Nexus Tech video without some testing. I run the CPU Z bench and as for the result, 5. Yes, that's it. 5. The CPU multiscore for some reason went up to 5.6. With all the respect to the hardware inside of this EPC, let's throw a couple of classic older games in and see how it plays out. Let's start by playing the original Half-Life. This game from 1998 ran for the most part smoothly and was enjoyable. It really blows my mind to think that I could play this game anywhere on the PC, being mobile. And how about this? Brings memories yet? June 2000, another 1998 title that ran flawlessly. I love real-time strategy games so much. Can anyone recommend a good modern RTS in the comments below, please? Next up, we try Need for Speed Porsche Unleashed. This was no problem for the EPC. The game was truly special. It was the first one in the series that featured car physics. I must have completed the factory driver and the career so many times, over and over. I love this game. The Carmageddon TDR2000 was running okay, if a little laggy. I do enjoy the series of games, but I think Carmageddon 2 is my personal favourite. Stepping things up, I've tried GTA 3, but sadly, this is not very playable. I'd say this game was too demanding for the integrated Intel graphics. Last game I tested was the original Mafia from 2002. This was a lot more playable than GTA 3, however, still not very enjoyable. Let's conclude the EPC900. This netbook has not aged very well. In fact, the whole netbook scene did not last for long, although the later spec EPC models gained Intel Atom processors. It is really only useful for basic tasks such as word processing, and even that is questionable as my hands were hurting after just one hour of playing games. The keyboard is so tiny it's uncomfortable to use. Windows XP is outdated and simply does not work online in 2022, leaving this cute little device for only one purpose, that is playing old games. What did you think of the netbooks? Did you buy one back in the day? Let me know in the comments below and as ever, thank you for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one.